There are loads of amazing games for families in 2018. The challenge, of course, for parents that aren't avid gamers is unearthing those hidden gems that would be brilliant for their kids. This video solves that. Setting aside the yearly repeating games we've all heard of like FIFA and Call of Duty and of course Fortnite, it's my elevator pitch for over 30 games arranged by Peggy Age Rating so that you can find the perfect game for your kids. Starting with games rated Peggy 3 Plus. Frantics is a game you play on the PlayStation 4 via PlayLink with your mobile phone. It offers loads of really good, well-designed mini games that are fun for all the family. It also means that up to four players can enjoy the mayhem without having to buy additional controllers. Go Vacation on Switch returns to provide that same mini game fun, but it is the explorable world of resorts that really engage kids and you can do this four players simultaneously. Forza Horizon 4 takes that realistic Forza racing simulation and puts it into a beautiful open world. This time we come to Britain and 450 cars, there is really something for everyone. Tricky Towers comes to Switch this year. Now, if you haven't played it, it's like Tetris, but the sides of the well aren't there. So you have to balance your towers. In a family with four players, this is just great fun and really accessible. Mini Metro also comes to Switch this year, a beautifully simple design your own underground transport simulator. It's a combination of simplicity and strategy that makes the game so well. It may look easy to start, but make no mistake, doing well in the game and working up the daily challenge leaderboards requires a lot of skill and a lot of practice. While older players will love 2017's Mario Odyssey and racing fans may opt for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Mario's new tennis game has the most to offer wide range of family players. You can play as a variety of Nintendo characters and it's just a lot of fun. Take it to four players and the doubles works absolutely brilliantly with special moves and tennis strategy combining to make this a real classic. Donut Country is a story-based physics puzzle where you play an ever-growing hole in the ground and you have to move that hole around and get various buildings, people, items, all sorts of things to fall into it. As you do that, the hole gets bigger and you can then swallow bigger things. You can also catapult things back out of the hole to solve other puzzles. Combine this with a well-told, beautiful story for kids and this is a game that the whole family will love. Rocket League Collector's Edition came out at the beginning of the year. This is an amazing game. It takes that competitive edge of combining football and cars, which actually sounds crazy, but it works, particularly in the four player split screen for the family. Better than that, you need to really hone and perfect your skills over months and months of play to really excel at this game. Overcooked 2 follows up the success of the original with a cooking challenge where up to four players have to deliver a variety of dishes in some unusual circumstances. Young players may need a little bit of help to get started on this, but visually it really appeals to all ages. Wonder Song is an endearing side-scrolling puzzle and adventure game with a difference. You progress, you fight, you solve puzzles by singing songs with the colour-coded music song wheel. It combines rhythm and music recall with a fairy tale adventure that unfolds as you meet all sorts of characters. The game does brilliantly to evolve this central mechanic, introduces new characters and expands the story from a simple tale to an epic saga everyone will enjoy. Moving on to Peggy 7 rated games. Starlink Battle for Atlas takes the groundwork of toys to life games like Skylanders and Lego Dimensions and puts them to work in a story driven space combat adventure. It combines open world exploration with side quests and a narrative that takes you to a different world. The toys themselves are far more functional. You can take them apart and put them back together and in the game your ship responds similarly. Also there's a special Star Fox version with characters and adventure on the Switch and this is looking like it will be a confident first step into toys to life from Ubisoft. Another trip down memory lane for parents is Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, but one that introduces new players to the joys of Crash as well as drawing in those retro fans. It includes the first three titles in the series with new visuals and improved controls. The genius here is how close the game comes to that original experience. Also worth a mention is the Spyro Trilogy Reignited that also promises to offer a similar offering in the Spyro games. Luigi's Mansion on 3DS takes that GameCube game and brings it into a portable format with the lower screen being used as the map and the main screen recreating that GameCube classic. It will be the second Luigi's Mansion game on the 3DS. Both the titles offer great puzzle challenges for youngsters while still requiring some considered gameplay to keep adults interested too. This new game has a two-player mode if you own two copies of the cartridge, but it's worth going back to the original 3DS game, which offered a four-player ghost hunt mode that you could play by downloading the game with only owning just one copy. Kingdoms New Lands came out last year, but this year's two-player follow-up, Kingdoms Two Crowns, expands the super simple defending of your lands and your castle. 
What's great for kids is that you control the game with just left, right and a single button. Decide where and when to upgrade your defences or expand your farms. It slowly evolves into a beautiful real-time tower defence style game, but it's by experimentation that you discover how the game works. Its unique pixelated side-on visuals and atmospheric soundtrack combine with its multiplayer mode to make this great for families. Subnautica is an open world underwater survival game. While you explore the ocean, you collect resources and craft underwater vehicles to survive. It's existed for some time, but this year the full release has come in January. It combines the wonder of deep sea exploration with in-depth world building and an ongoing story. For young explorers or would-be scuba divers, this is a great and unique experience. Unravel 2 is a cooperative platform game where each player controls a cute, tiny character made of a ball of yarn. To get through the world, the players must cooperate and collaborate together to jump, run and swing their way around different obstacles. Through a sparkling world of forests, rivers and glades, a story about growing up and moving on from home is told. It's a game that works brilliantly for families, particularly because in difficult moments players can combine and let the expert player traverse to the next level. There have been a number of these Nintendo Labo cardboard kits for the Switch this year, but the vehicle kit adds the most proper gameplay of the set. Building the steering wheel, accelerator and other items out of cardboard, slot the Switch and the controllers in and you're off on a range of vehicular adventures. Younger children do need some help with the assembly and it works best when the family builds together, but as a way to expand play beyond the screen and discover new ways to play with your Switch, it's a welcome and innovative game for families. TerraTech is a sandbox vehicle battle game. Players build contraptions and vehicles with a wide variety of interchangeable parts. Care and attention to designs will result in different vehicles and varying performance. It's been available on PC for some time, but this year came to Xbox One and PlayStation 4. The vehicle building system and resulting battles are the biggest draw for young players, but it's also fun just to muck about in the world as well. If you purchased a Switch this year, you may have missed out on Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. This year, the Donkey Kong Adventure is added to the set and it adds a new story, characters and environments to battle in. The game works brilliantly for families by combining proper strategic battling like the scene in the XCOM series with classic Nintendo characters. Presentation is excellent throughout to make this a game that no family should miss, particularly since the addition of multiplayer battles. Yoku's Island Express is a combination of platforming and pinball. It's an unusual game mechanic but what really stands out is the characters and story of this endearing adventure. You control Yoku, a dung beetle, who works as a postman on the island of Mokumana and is soon enlisted in saving the world from attack. Each year we get a new LEGO video game. LEGO The Incredibles is a particularly noteworthy title for families. Not only does it include characters and story from the new film, but also goes back to the original movies and plunders from the Pixar archive for all manner of classic characters. Whether you want to team up to take on the story in co-op mode or play through multiple times to find every unlockable, there is a lot of value here for players of all ages. Fossil Hunters is a four-player hunt for fossils which you then assemble into dinosaurs. It's a combination of exploration, discovery and assembly that works well for young inquiring minds. What's best though is the modular building system that lets you build your dinos how you like. The whole game feels great to play and with four players means that everyone can collaborate to find the most fossils. Moving on to Peggy 12 rated games, Towerfall is another game that's existed for a while but the 2018 Switch version has a twist that makes it uniquely good for larger families, 6 player mode. The game is a single screen action battle challenge where you shoot different types of arrows at each other. It's a beautiful knife edge balance of risk reward, each player uses just one Joy-Con half so you can have up to 6 people with just 3 split controllers. This takes the game into another level and offers new sorts of arrows and into the rare category of titles that can accommodate families of 3 or 4 children. Bad North is a game where you must defend your idyllic island kingdom against hordes of viking invaders. It's charming and brutal and different every single time. You give high level commands to each of your soldiers and then watch them as they do their best to fend off the invaders. It's accessible for everyone, but as you play, it's got a real sense of depth to it and strategy and cunning are really important. Shadow of the Colossus was an unusually epic game when it launched on PlayStation 2. This year's PlayStation 4 version not only updates the visuals, but enables a new generation of gamers to enjoy the scale of exploration and combat in the game. The player is tasked with hunting down huge ancient monsters. What unfolds though, does involve some slaying of these beasts but tells a story as much about the world they share as the use of power fantasy of other games. For this reason, even though it's a single player game, it's a great title for families to play together. 
Into the Breach is a miniature strategy game where you command troops on an island in a turn-based challenge. It's the intricacy and accessibility of these battles which really appeals to families. It starts simple, but commanding the island and protecting your building becomes a fascinatingly complex conundrum. Some clever design touches set this above other strategy games. Seeing the exact outcome of each action encourages you to consider the consequences of each of your moves. This focus on foresight rather than random battles makes Into the Breach a perfect turn-based battle game for all the family. Its Peggy 12 rating comes from some use of mild swear words. Octopath Traveller is a role-play game on the Switch with a difference. Not only are the visuals a combination of retro and modern, but it offers eight different stories to follow. In a family, this offers a wide range of scenarios for different people to engage with. For teenagers, it also raises some interesting topics not often addressed by games, alongside the usual fetch quest and revenge sagas. Where multiple people are playing on the same system, it's fascinating to see how their journey unfolds differently. Onrush is an exuberant racing game from the team behind Motorstorm and Drive Club. It takes that central racing mechanic but then twists it in all sorts of interesting ways where you're on a time attack, you've got teammates and all the time you can go head to head against other racers to wipe them out like you could in Burnout. You can race all sorts of vehicles from off-road to on-road to bikes to trucks and all of it has that arcade racer edgy feel that's just a whole load of fun. The Smash Brothers series of fighting games has been hugely popular on previous Nintendo systems. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate combines exuberant knife-edge combat with the fun and frivolity of a huge round of Nintendo characters. The Switch version coming in December promises to continue this tradition yeah, yes. and will be a great amount of fun for families. It extends the number of players to 8 and hosts a whole load of new characters. If you have a Switch, this would definitely be on your Christmas list, along with additional controllers so that everyone can play. Sea of Thieves is an open-world pirate adventure on Xbox One and PC. The other ships in the game are all controlled by real players. To pilot your own ship, you may often team up with other people to take on the different roles required on board. Along with this, make your own fun aspect of the game. There are quests and storylines to follow. The game has been well supported with ongoing content updates and is a great experience for families of teenagers. Nino Kuni 2 Reverent Kingdom is a hand-drawn role-play game that follows on from Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. We play as a young boy who has been kicked out of his castle and must re-establish a new kingdom. There is an element of free roaming, but where the game really excels is at offering a well-told story with engaging characters. For families wanting to share the adventure or teenagers who want a unique experience, this is one of the highest quality on offer. Overwatch Legendary Edition is a first-person shooter that's been hugely popular since it's launched. This edition brings together previous release content into one package. The game offers a teenager-friendly shooting and fighting in arena battles from a first-person perspective and is a great deal of fun. The range of characters and skill required to do well make for an excellent online experience. Moving on to Peggy 16 rated games for older teenagers. Marvel Spider-Man is a PlayStation 4 exclusive. While parents should check out the game for its moderate violence, families that love Spider-Man will enjoy this impressive experience. Not only is it an original story, but with the game mechanics, fighting and interactions are simply amazing. Rated 13 plus in the US, there are moments when close quarter combat depicts blood and injuries, but played together, this is a great high octane game to share. West of Loathing is a single player slapstick adventure where you play a stick man that has to traverse snake infested gulches punch skeletons, wear cowboy hats, and even grapple with demon cows. It looks basic and simple, but actually offers a sprawling open world full of danger, quests, puzzles, and mysteries. But more than that, this is a beautifully written, tongue-in-cheek adventure. The Peggy 16 rating is because of alcohol and tobacco, but you should note there is some mild fantasy violence, a little bit of blood, and some suggestive themes. So this is a game that older teenagers will enjoy as well as mum and dad. Although Ark Survival Evolved has been around for some time on other systems, the Android and iOS version came out this year, offering new ways to play the game. In it, you are dropped on an island teeming with creatures and dinosaurs with the only the bare essentials to survival. The open world play enables you to collect, craft and build structures to survive. It takes this basic Minecraft premise but adds real physics and realistic visuals. So there you go, that's my rundown of the best family games of 2018 let me know in the comments if i've missed any out and also let me know if any of these games are going to be on your christmas list this year 